Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be shoutcasting some battles uh, from this trainer from Mexico I believe. They also want me to shout out their diamond tier faction team called MVP Mexico I believe that is. And they said that this is one of the most impressive sylph runs to date. Uh, we will see when I shoutcast these battles. This is uh, from the Nemesis, Nem Nemesis meta, so this this video is coming really late. I got super busy with a bunch of stuff, but I promised them I would be uh, casting these battles. So here, here we are. I you know, look forward to it. Um, so here you select your fighter, you select your anti-fighter, you select your bodyguard, and then there's a number of uh, different bands uh, associated with that. Uh, their team is Obstagoon, uh, Mawile, Mawile, uh, Bronzon, Cradilly, uh, Lantern, and Galvantula. So going with that double electric uh, team. Uh, so what I've been told about Nemesis, Nemesis Cup is that uh, the meta is so diverse that uh, your team is always going to be weak to something. Uh, so in this case, like um, uh, Excadrill looks really strong on the opponent's team. Excadrill, Noctowl, Galvantula, Empoleon, uh, Lapras, and uh, Wormadam. Um, obviously the, the, the biggest counter to it, uh, would be like, uh, you know, Mawal with shields up, um, Excadrill, no, 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 Obstagoon, I should say, uh, Cradilly is like pretty, pretty neutral. Um, so you definitely want to figure out ways to be able to handle that. But I'm actually, honestly, like Obstagoon looks, uh, Obstagoon looks absolutely phenomenal on this team. I think Obstagoon like literally beats this entire team. Uh, except for, I guess, the Galvantula. Galvantula would be a little bit uh, uh, problematic. Galvantula and then Noctowl a little bit, um, but looks looks really strong, so I do expect the, them to, to bring it. But let's go ahead and get started with the battles, what I know about battling. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. I'm just going to be casting these battles and uh, see see how they go. Uh, so going to have Cradilly into uh, Noctowl. Like, uh, definitely, oh my gosh, not actually bringing, um, okay, maybe, okay, I clearly don't know what I'm talking about, because, uh, uh, did not bring the Obstagoon, um, and gonna, gonna throw the Stone Edge, which is gonna do quite a bit of damage, Noctowl definitely will survive it, gonna switch right away into Mawile, does have two answers to, um, to the Noctowl, so, let's see, what the opponent is going to do. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Well, that is very bad for the opponent. Going to throw this. Uh, they must have Wormadam in the back, right? There's no way they brought a team triple weak to Mawa, right? Well, honestly, it looks like to be the case. And then should be able to farm down uh, this Galvantula. And. Oh, it's okay. It's extra drill. Okay. Uh, gonna throw the power up punch. Probably could just throw it right away, to be honest, because would have been able to boost right away. But th this game's over, right? This, these, uh, these, um, these, uh, these moves, are, these uh, fire fangs are doing just uh, simply too much damage, and uh, this is definitely gonna be GG. Uh, makes sense. The the team comp from the opponent side makes sense. Galv, um, uh, drill was obviously gonna be really strong. But not bringing the Obstagoon is very surprising. The Mawile, Mawile also looks looks very good here. It does have some some challenges with like Empoleon, uh, for example. Probably could out neutral it. Uh, but with shields up, Mawile actually does really well against this uh, against this entire team. So we're gonna go ahead to game number two. We're gonna have Lantern into Lapras. This is a very good lead. Obviously, I have to be careful of the. Okay, all right. Let's see how they're gonna play this. Technically, because uh, they'll probably... Oh, they actually do discharge. Okay, they don't lunge. Uh, should be able to farm down here. And then uh, we'll see the Lapras come in. Going to throw the Iron Head at this Lapras. This is a Shadow Lapras versus Shadow Mawile. Uh, it's going to do quite a bit of damage. Oh, it's that... Okay. Um, clearly, I don't know anything about this meta because I didn't realize it was going to be a Water Gun. But uh, that's quite all right. Um, and then... Uh, Critically can basically just farm down here, or they're just going to spark down. And uh, we'll see what's in the back. It is going to be a Wormadam. Well, I'll be damn. That was a very poor line. I don't know why in the world I said that, but 
We're just going to go with it. Uh, should be able to survive any move here. I do expect the Buck Buzz to come through. I don't expect them to bait. And then going to look to throw the Thunderbolt here. This is an interesting play. Uh, they actually end up taking it. Well, that was uh, very unfortunate. Um, going to throw the Grass Knot. Wow, okay, this is uh, kind of crazy here because this is uh, definitely double resisted. But actually still did a pretty decent chunk. And I guess it makes sense because uh, they're going to have to shield something. Um, do you throw the Iron Head? Okay, going to throw the another Grass Knot. Going to have to shield this one for sure. And uh, this Iron Head is super effective, right? Because Iron Head is a totally terrible move, right? So, But it is enough to KO. Uh, oh, man. Just going to be able to spark down and take the win. Definitely took maybe the more difficult path to winning that game but uh the team comp is obviously just uh really really strong it is going to bring the obscure this time and we're going to see the knockdown come through the switch is not really that important to be honest um yeah switch is not important at all here and gonna look to throw the stone edge uh the sky attack is is neutral uh, because of the rock typing does resist grass is weak to it um okay they do throw good timing by the opponent honestly i'd, pro I'd probably just let this go right like the, um and then you just farm down with mawile is is personally what i would do but uh let's, let's see how they will approach it they do decide to farm down with mawile mawile absolutely tearing through and uh mawile does come through here well this 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 opponent's really weak top skin by um they do end up shielding here. Uh, yeah, honestly, the drill run would do more. Uh, the surf does quite a bit of damage, right? So, and is gonna have to throw at some point in time. Gonna either grab a shield here, uh, or the opponent will let the lappers go down. Uh, they lappers just just think an extra water gun in. Gonna have to stay in just a little bit here, and uh, gonna shield. And uh, throw this night slash. Uh, we'll see. There's, there's really not. Oh man, they, they do get the boost here, which is going to mean the counters are going to do a significant amount of damage and actually able to survive and uh, get to the night slash and uh, take out the extra drill. Absolutely dominating uh, round number one. So I'll see everyone in round number two. All right, we're here in round number two. The opponent has. Quagsire, Knockdown, Malamar, Ferrothorn, um, Crustle, and Drapion. Uh, so obviously the Quagsire presents a, a decent problem for the team, but they also really don't have like like a super hard check to uh, Credilly. Like obviously like uh, Drapion uh, could could be pretty good depending on what Moose said it's carrying. It would resist the the bullet seeds and the grass knot the sonage would do quite a bit of damage um uh ferrothorn would also be pr pretty decent so like um they definitely have a lot of like neutral play uh against the the cradilly um what else do i like here so i guess the obscune is also pretty good here right um but they are running uh without um without a cross shop, right? So it does make the matchup against Drapion pretty weird. Um, but yeah, so I do expect the Obscune, though I, I said the last game, last round they didn't bother bringing it all. Uh, Mawal also looking okay here. Um, does have some uh, concerns against the Quagsire, but Quag is for sure going to come. It's like good against uh, four and then neutral against one and then uh, still unfavorable against the Cradilly, but with energy and a shield advantage, it might be able to do a lot of damage. So, do I think you had to bring the Obstagoon. Uh, Cradilly, you could, could bring, uh, for sure. And then, um, it, it, it's the rest of basically learning how to dodge the, the, the Quag. Uh, though the Quag, it does generate energy really quickly with Mudshot. Uh, it does quick take quite a while. So, so a Pokemon like, um bronze on could definitely do quite a bit of damage by 
can you really bring bronze on when they have malamar and drapey on hmm, maybe maybe i think it would be uh, pretty pretty tough so i'm gonna speed this up a little bit here oh okay sped up too much okay uh galvantula oh it's actually a fury cutter one wow okay the, they totally got played there because they definitely could have stayed in that matchup if it's fury cutter um because actually it becomes way less favorable if you have uh if you have um if they have a uh, fury cutter as opposed to um whatever smackdown they normally have uh so they do end up shielding uh, i'm actually gonna shield this in return okay mm, we'll see what the opponent wants to do in in this case it looks like they are gonna get the farm down Mm, I think either is okay, to be honest, but uh, they do come to Malamar. This is uh, definitely a foul play. Uh, okay, going to switch here. Uh, the, the lunge would absolutely one-shot the, the Malamar. It's, it's like double week to... Um, you're probably gonna see two then throw yeah two more than throw they are one off did get the deny so they are one off the move uh we'll see what they come in with okay well i think it's for sure we're shielding here right and then then farming down they do go for the rock slide and then you just lunge whatever comes in right yeah you just lunge whatever comes in this is looking really good here um should be able to make it to another lunge, uh, which should grab the shield. Then you just hydro pump. Yeah, well, I guess they already grabbed the shield. And then this will put them into hydro pump range. And this is uh, absolutely game over here. Or, or, or Thunderbolt here. Thunderbolt's good too. I guess they landed the lunge. So they might just barely hold on. Nope, uh, this is enough to, to KO. Very well done. Okay, can I bring Cradilly? I, I, I actually really like Cradilly against this team, but uh into the galvantula okay so this is actually a okay matchup um they do get to the move first so gonna shield what i presume is gonna be the crunch yeah it is and uh, they do get the deny not that i think it makes a huge difference anyway so um should be able to survive this and then uh, we'll be able to easily win the one shield. They'll probably farm up just a little bit uh, and then look to throw the lunge. Maybe we could do one more because uh, it could have farmed off the... We'll see what they bring in. They do bring in the Quagsire. Going to throw the lunge. Again, this is where farming up a little bit more would have been beneficial. And these lunges do a tremendous amount of damage. They're going to have to throw. Oh, going to be able to reach the move here. This is looking fantastic. And then you just you just sack, uh, you just basically sack uh, Obscune at this point in time, right? No point in shielding it. Oh, okay. Okay. I stand corrected. I stand corrected for some reason. We are uh, sacking Dilly. Um, what? Um, I'm not quite sure I understand this, but. Um, this is a thing we're doing um okay that's totally fine and then uh gonna go an obstacle here they are pretty low right and they do need to land two moves here i think you definitely know shield this in case they acid spray you for some reason or um but th this is uh, definitely game over uh you definitely shield this there's there's just no way they're gonna be able to outpace they do throw the stone edge uh, it does have both moves here and should be able to, the second night slash should be able to KO uh, the Quag Sire and gonna be able to take out and win a game a number two. Very, very well done. All right, we're gonna go into game number three. We'll see. It was honestly got a little bit weird ending there, but. Uh, We'll see what the opponent is going to do. Um, this Quagsire hasn't uh, performed quite as okay. Um, unfortunately for 
this trainer. Method Man's probably gonna drop, drop a diss track afterwards. This, after this, uh, maybe try to catch. Oh, is that just an, uh, is that Aqua Tail? Oh, they have Aqua Tail. Okay, interesting. Gonna throw the Iron Head, and uh, we'll see what the what they're gonna do here. They actually end up no shielding. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that, that okay. That makes sense too. Uh, gonna be able to reach the lunge. Man, Calvangel has actually put in quite a bit of work against uh, uh, probably Shieldus, to be honest. Yeah, I definitely would shield. Uh, looks like they don't have a, a good answer to. Okay, well, that is a okay answer. And gonna look to throw the uh, discharge to see if they shield or not. Uh, they do end up shielding. Uh, yeah, yeah, let this go. Makes sense. Uh, come back into Mawal right away. Take advantage of the decent clocks. Um, the Fire Fangs are neutral, right, because the rock and bug typing. Um, this thing is also quite low here. Gonna let this go. Predicting this is X Scissor. Oh, it's actually ended up being a rock slide, which actually doesn't KO. Gonna be able to throw the pop and then look to switch out right away. Don't want them to farm down. And, uh, oh man, you know what we're going to see here. Going to let this go. You know what we're going to see here, because they can't mud shot down, right? And the earthquake would definitely would do more than the, okay, you know what we're going to see here. Oh, no, okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We're, we're going to see a night slash. We're going to see a night slash. And then the counter down, and they're going to be able to counter down this uh, uh, crustle here. I got all excited for no reason, but very impressive Another sweep there, and uh, I'll see everyone in uh, round number three. All right, we are in uh, round number three. This one also has Quagsire, Noctowl, Calvanchilla, Walrein, Cradilly, and Crustle. Um, hmm. Yeah, so like Bronzon looks pretty decent here, but they've been very reluctant to bring Bronzon. Um, also like Opskin is pretty safe here as well. Just be careful of the Galvantula, depending on the moveset that the Crustle is running, can have favorable matchups. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what they decide to bring. Galv will also looks look pretty good here, right? So I just have to be careful of the, uh, of the Quagsire. But again, Quagsire... Hasn't been quite as strong uh, against the Galv as, as I anticipated. Um, let's just uh, speed this up a little bit here. Oh, okay. All right, our most exciting mirror match. We are going to have... Um, okay, so uh, Lunge doesn't KO, right? But it does put it pretty low. Gonna end up shielding. I guess if they're gonna battle it out, then... Um, uh, the first lunge does the most damage, right? So, okay, does get an extra one in. Uh, this shouldn't KO. Uh, let's see if they can farm down. Oh, okay, they do come into Quag. All right, gonna throw this lunge, and then probably look to switch into. Uh... Oh man, that lunge did absolutely nothing. I'm not sure why they're not switching. Um. Am I actually kind of confused here? Why, why, why did they not switch? And why are they waiting? Do they not think the, the Galv's gone? Oh my goodness, okay. Um, okay, well, you don't definitely don't need to shield anything from here. This thing is t twice debuffed. Uh, Earthquake does a pretty good amount of damage. Uh, should be able to survive this. It is a Stone Edge. Gonna switch here. Okay, uh, it looks like they reset, but I'm not sure for what purpose here. This is a. Um, is this a SmackDown or uh, I'm pretty sure it's SmackDown. All right, so. Okay, this is a, this is a very confusing um, game here. Uh. 
Oh, they do go for the rock slide. Wow, that is uh, very bad here. But going to be able to reach the stone edge. Um, counting the residual energy and making the stone. This definitely will KO. And then uh, we're going to say good. Okay, they're actually able to make it to the move there. But really doesn't matter here. That was an extremely confusing game there. Um, that was... And they get the boost there. That makes the game even more confusing. Okay. That was a very... I... I yeah, yeah, I'm not, not, yeah, I'm not sure. Well, why? Okay, gonna go Obscoon into Quag. It's a okay lead. Obviously, the no, not very much fast move pressure. Gonna try to CMP tie them, but they actually end up going for the extra mud shot. So they're at 81 energy now. Okay, gonna try to catch um, move here. Both moves are neutral. Uh, they do Stone Edge, and then here comes Galvantula. And gonna throw the stone edge. Let's see if the opponent decides to shield or not. They do decide to shield. They're gonna farm up a decent amount before throwing. Uh, I do expect this to KO. Uh, it is neutral. Oh, it's super no super effective. Okay, bug. Okay, I keep, yeah. Okay, it is super effective. I keep forgetting that rock doesn't resist bug. I, I always get confused with bug to be honest. Um, bug bug. Super effective in resistances. Um, and able to farm down here. We'll see what the opponent wants to do here. Going to switch. And, okay, are they going to go for the hyper beam? Please go for the hyper beam. Oh, no. Okay, they're not going to go for the hyper beam. Oh, that would have been so epic. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, uh, this doesn't KO. All right, so... And then at this point in time, you definitely go double Night Slash, right, to draw down the clock. There's a small chance that they could switch. Uh, no, there's not, not going to be enough time. Uh, the opponent still refuses to shield. We'll see. They probably shield here, uh, but this is looks like a... Oh, they don't shield. Okay. Um, but this should be this should be game here, right? Like, there's they have to shield this uh, pop. And then... Uh, there's no way they'll make it to two moves uh, before the Mawal can make it to two moves. They do the uh, before the Mawal makes it to another. Um, I don't think that's enough. Uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to make it to the to the move and just barely able to survive uh, the Stone Edge there. Very very well done. All right, we're gonna have Mawal into Crustle. Okay, this is a. A Smackdown Crustle, so this is a, should be a pretty all right matchup. Not gonna, not gonna shield. They do go for the Rock Slide, does a tremendous amount of damage. And we will see if they'll shield this Iron Head. They do not shield Iron Head. Gonna go straight into. Okay. Um, well, this is fine though. Uh, gonna throw the Stone Edge. This looks pretty good. Which with shields up, like Obskin should be able to clean up this match here. Uh you definitely let this go. And then throw the through the grass knot. They actually end up shadow balling here, which is a which is an interesting play. Sky Tech definitely more energy efficient, but maybe they they figured they weren't gonna make it too okay. They actually end up shielding here, which is uh even more confusing here. And then I think you just go into Obscoon here and look to farm down. Yeah, yeah. You just, you'd rather get energy here, and they do come into uh, Quagsire. And you just shield any everything here. Uh, I would love to see the Hyper Beam, but I, I just don't don't expect them to. Uh, they do go up to the Hyper Beam. Um, maybe if they shield this, which they do not. Of course they don't. Um, the Hyper Beam is just way too risky. Though I don't think they lose anyways. Uh um yeah, I don't I don't think they lose anyways, but uh it, it would be too risky cuz they still need to throw uh like two moves, like two stone edges. And this uh knockdown is not going to make it to move anyway, so going to be able to take uh game number 3 and they're on an absolute tear right now. They're 9 and 0 through 3 rounds. We'll see if anyone's going to be able to take them out. Uh, so I'll see everyone in round number 4. All right, we are in round number 4. This this opponent has a very very 
Wow, okay. Polyrath, Dedene, uh, Tyranitar, Ferrothorn. Um, uh, yeah, this is a very spicy team here. Uh, let's just get right into it and see how they want to play this out. Um, I like Obscune here, uh, which is what they end up leading into Polyrath. Polyrath is kind of nasty here. Uh, Polyrath is very nasty here. Gonna catch the dynamic punch. Still gonna do quite a bit of damage. I don't, they for sure have lots of answers too. Oh, they ice punch here. Wow, okay, well. Um, gonna go for the bulldoze. The, 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 this crunch definitely doesn't KO, and these poison stings are, do like almost no damage. Um, even with the defense fall. Okay, they decide to bait here, which is an interesting play. We'll see if that ends up working. It does end up working. The opponent's gonna have to throw. Could shield. Okay, gonna look to take the second. Oh, they are in the aqua tailing here. Oh, double aqua tail. Well, that's kind of that's pretty bad. Um, okay. Well, they're gonna throw the aqua tail anyways, but they they want to bank the energy. Okay. Uh, you gotta hype. Okay, they actually come into Dedene. Definitely hyper beam here. There's. I don't think there's a chance that the opponent will shield this. They do not, and they absolutely pay for it. Uh, here comes Polyrath. Okay, uh, this dynamic punch will absolutely annihilate, but they have two Thigh Shocks banked. Uh, so I think you just look to throw both of them right away. Yeah, you just throw both of them right away. I, they might not even shield this, to be honest. But, okay, they do end up shielding it. You're going to throw the second Thigh Shock, and then look to switch into Mawile. And uh, this, is, this is absolutely game over, right? They're not going to be able to make it to two. They would need two crunches to KO here. And even then, oh, they actually end up aqua tailing, which is a, a little bit of confusing play there. Um, well, that was weird. I don't know why why they aqua tailed. Uh, oh, I, I, oh, okay, because the crunch is resisted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ne never mind. Crunch is resisted. Um, Crunch is resisted, but does more than the Aqua Tail. Plus the chance for the debuff. Two Aqua Tails doesn't KO, but I, I guess, I don't know if they would really know that. All right, so um, good matchup, but uh, they're going to be able to throw the Discharge. Okay, they tried to catch there. It was a very nice catch attempt. Uh, they do go for the Bulldoze. Bulldoze is an absolute trash move, though, so um, you let this go. They're going to trade Aqua Tail. Makes sense. Um, two doesn't KO, so you definitely let it go. So resisted crunch is more than Aqua Tail, but I guess they were testing to see whether or not Aqua Tail is going to be the better move. Uh, the, the Dene could come in and try to farm down, shield once and farm down. They actually come into Polyrath here. Um, so Polyrath is going to farm down, but this is looking pretty good. They actually end up shielding. Interesting. Obviously, they were worried about the the play rough, but uh, you let this go. I wonder if they transfer. They do transfer the confusion. Uh, I think you still let this go. To, okay, they're gonna, gonna end up shielding because I guess they get to the. Okay, now they're gonna um, play rough here. Does a pretty good amount of damage. Gonna have to throw the grass knot. We'll see what the opponent's going to do here. They end up letting it go. Well, they're going to ice punch this uh, Cordilli. Going to let it go. Ooh, okay, just barely able to hang on, which is uh, both good and bad here. Uh, ooh, okay, well. Oh, going to be able to, okay. Gonna shield this. I imagine the opponent will, will bait here, right? But it does have the move. And uh, gonna be able to take out the Polyrath and uh, win this <laughs> this game after a, a very complicated uh, matchup there. Uh, and uh, very nice not throwing and uh, allowing the opponent opponent to, to catch. So we're very well done. All right, we have Mawal into Drapion. As we saw earlier, this is a pretty okay matchup for uh, Mawal. Um, does single resist the 
poison damage, right? Because steel double resists. They end up going for the aqua tail. It doesn't do very much damage. Uh, they go for another aqua tail. Should be able to land the iron head, uh, which would, as we saw earlier, it will be enough to KO. Gonna farm up a little bit of energy here and look to throw the iron head. We'll see if they shield. They do not shield. Gonna switch right away into Credilly. And they come into Polyrath. That dynamic punch would do a lot of damage here, but it wouldn't KO. Oof, that is a lot. Uh, and does go for the Grass Knot, which for sure will warrant his shield. And now they're going to look to land the Ice Punch. Uh, the thing is, okay, uh, I guess there's a risk that it's a, it's a Tyranitar in the back. I guess. Uh, they actually do end up shielding here. Oh, okay, it ends up being a... Oh, they could have landed the Stone Edge there, but this 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 match should be over. This should do a lot of damage. Uh, oh, okay. I don't, I don't know why they let themselves get farmed down. You definitely let this go. And... Um, I guess they don't let themselves get farmed down. Okay, well, they're going to throw the middle anyway, so just going to farm down here. I think there's really really no risk here. Um, I think trying to catch is probably a more risky play, and then just going to look to land the Psy Shock. It's a CMP tie, but they have the energy already. Should be able to take them out. They do go for the Ice Punch, and going to be able to take them out and uh, win a, a yet another game here. And uh, this, this, this trainer is absolutely steamrolling the competition right now, uh, so I'll see everyone in the next round. All right, we are in uh, the fifth round here. Um, okay, going. This opponent has Polyrath, the Dene, uh, Wal Walrein, Drapion, uh, Wormadam, and um, Beedrill. So again, like Mawa looks look pretty pretty strong against this team. Um, Obscoon has has play here. The the Beedrill makes it a little bit more complicated. Gonna bring in. Oh shoot. Okay. Well, this is a completely wrong team. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, that's. Uh, that's embarrassing. Okay. Well, never mind. Okay. Hopefully my uh, game will update. Okay. There you go. There's the correct team. Also seems like I have this video sped up too quickly, but um, it's a pretty good matchup for uh, Bronzon. Obviously, the Shadow Ball would do a tremendous amount of damage. It makes a very nice... Let's see if this is going to be the Shadow Ball. Oh my goodness. That app did actually do zero damage there. Um, okay, they come into, uh, okay, well, you gotta go for it. Oh, man, please just, <laughs> please just go for the Hyper Beam once. Uh, the opponent's definitely counting, right? Oh, they actually do, okay. They actually do not count here. Okay, uh, I don't know why they went for the Night Slash here again. Um, cause, uh, uh well, the EQ would probably KO here, so, um, gonna let this go. Nice counting. And then come into... Cradilly, look to farm it all the way down with the bullet He's going to come out with a tremendous amount of energy, and this energy is going to be super nice against this entire team. Uh, they do go for the Stone Edge. Okay, well, now you just um, Stone Edge uh, and then look to throw the Psy Shock at the... Yeah, this is, uh, this is absolutely game over here. I like the opponent's uh, willingness to switch there. I think that's definitely the appropriate play. Um, well, you just you just let this go, right? Even if they EQ here, which I don't think they have. Oh, they do have the EQ. Uh, you can just farm down here. Should be able to easily make it to a Stone Edge, though, like the Grass Knight. It's going to be more than enough uh, to take out this Frost Lass. And this is uh, definitely going to be a GG here. Uh, very, very, very well played there. All right. Make him a good lead. That catch was absolutely gorgeous there. Gorgeous, gorgeous catch. All right, we're going to have Bronze on into Frostlass again. Uh, I'm assuming that it will not make the same mistake twice. Uh, it's enough for the Shadow Ball. And we'll see if they, they do go straight Shadow Ball here. 
But they do get an extra move in. So we'll see if they try to catch again. I'm sure the opponent's going to be way more cognizant. Okay. And then uh, they, they do... Uh, okay, should be able to farm down here. I don't think they'll... Oh, okay. I would prefer the... They definitely wouldn't have made it to move. Uh, but does, doesn't want to take any risks. They actually end up shielding here. Oh my goodness. They actually take it out. Uh, well, here comes uh, Quagsire. And going to look to land this Iron Head. Uh, the Iron Head definitely would do more damage than the Power Up Punch. Boosting up the Fire Fangs really don't mean very much. No, though the Iron Head doesn't do a ton either. Enabled CMP tie. I'm assuming they, oh, they, they EQ here. I'm surprised they wouldn't farm up more energy. Um, okay, we'll see how they want to play this. They come into Kingdra. Oh, this is this is perfectly fine though. Can just switch back into Bronze on at some point in time, and then look to throw the Psy Shock. Uh, the, the Kingdra might survive this. I have I haven't played out this matchup in a very long time. It does end up surviving it. Uh, Psy Shock not the strongest move. And then the opponent's going to, this is, this is absolutely game over here, right? The opponent will have to throw, uh, but they'll be able to make it to the Psy Shock and take out the Quagsire. Very, very well played. All right. We're going with the third and final game. Dilly into Quag. That is all sorts of bad for them. Going to build up to... Gonna throw the potentials. Uh, okay, interesting that they're staying. Yeah, this is a very good matchup for Bronzon. It obviously will be very annoying if they do get debuffed. It'll be extremely annoying, and they do get debuffed. But uh, switch is not super super important here, because uh, they can handle Quag with either Pokemon, and uh, looks like they are gonna be able. They definitely will make it to another. Uh, move. So you do throw the Octazooka. Uh, it's actually better. I would bullet seed down here. But let, let's see how they want to play it. They are going to go for the bullet seed down. Should be able to easily bullet seed down. We'll see what comes in. If it's Frostlass, that's, that's totally fine too. It ends up being a Frostlass. Oh! That's a sweet catch. That is a sweet Sweet catch, but you just stay in this matchup, right? Okay, or or not? I'm not sure why they wouldn't. Why wouldn't they stay? Um, that was a little bit confusing there. You just stay because what, what do you what do you need the Cradilly for? They're gonna straight stone edge here, right? There's no point in them uh, in uh, them baiting because they have two shields here, right? So and uh, they let that they they have to let this first one go. Though, like, they're in a pretty uh, not-so-great situation. Though, I, I would definitely would have liked to see the, the Cradilly just sacked versus the Quagsire. Oh, they do get the boost. Oh, that's a nice catch. That is a very nice catch. The opponent's definitely going to undercharge, though, right? And then look to farm down. Uh, we'll see whether or not Cradilly can make it, but that was a sweet catch. Does get the counter through as well. And... Um, this is this is a game over here. Can be able to make it to the night slash. The opponent realize it is over, and uh, just gonna let this through. And uh, we're gonna move on to round number six with this opponent. This trainer is absolutely going wild right now. Picking up five, three and zero oh so far, and uh, getting the very unnecessary boost at the end. Uh, so I'll see everyone in round number six. All right, we're here in round number six. Uh, this trainer has Polyrath, Dedenne, Walrein. Drapion, Wormadam, and Beedrill. Let's go ahead and get started. Obviously, again, uh, Mawa looking really strong here. Oh man, well that is very bad for the Beedrill. That is, uh, they do come into uh, Drapion here. Uh, doesn't have, really have a solid answer to uh, uh, to the like two Aquatels doesn't KO right. So uh, a little bit of lag here. Um, a lot of lag here. Okay. Um, let's see how the opponent wants to play this. They end up letting it go. And soon they come in 
Okay, they come in Maw Wall here. Well, this is absolutely game over. Here. No, they come in Wall Rain here. This is absolutely game over. You're gonna throw the uh, Power Up Punch. Yeah, you just uh, let this go. Should be enough to KO. They might undercharge, but uh, that was probably an undercharge because it probably should did more damage than that. And then you just come into Lantern here. Any Q doesn't KO, so I think you just let this go. I don't expect the opponent to bait. Makes sense. Going to switch. Very nice read there. And uh, this is uh, really, really bad for the opponent. Going to shield the X-Scissor. I'd probably throw the Psy Shock. Uh, or go for the Farnum, but they should be able to make a general move here. Gets a, like a little bit dicey here. Uh, Going to double shield. Oh, okay, but they come in. Okay, the, the, the animation is very confusing me for me, but... Uh, this is this is a absolute game over here. They let it go. Two shields up, but two shields won't be able to get them very far when they have a bronze on. Um, we'll see if they decide. The, honestly, the bronze on's really strong here. Um, go lantern into. Well, this is like the only answer to bronze on, right? So you just uh, kind of let it go here. Um, no need to shield. This uh, crunch will do a decent amount of damage, but should be able to survive the second crunch. I'm gonna go for the bait. They should be one away from the crunch because they got them. Uh, no, no, they should be at the crunch. So uh, they're gonna try a CMP tie, but this doesn't KO. So you, you definitely don't shield this. And no defense drop, which is very unfortunate for the Drapion because they're gonna have a very difficult time uh, farming down. They do come in. Oh man, very nice swap there. Um, gonna throw the Psy Shock, which is gonna force a shield. And uh, Duke, yeah, this is this is a very bad. Probably a uh, Wall Rain in the back. Gonna let this go. They need uh, two discharges to even come close to KOing. I don't think this quite KOs yet, but this is a. I think this is a, the shield's fine here. And then get a look to land the Psy Shock. We'll see if the opponent decides to shield or not. They do not decide to shield. It is a wall right here. Okay. I don't know if like switching here is uh, right away is uh, is uh, necessarily the right play. Uh, they might bait here. And if they try to bait and they catch, then it becomes a little bit complicated. But these Fire Fangs are doing tremendous amount of damage. They do reach the Aqua Tail or Crunch. Um but they're going to be able to farm down. And, oh, they actually reach another move here. So this actually makes it more complicated here. Uh, oh, Bakshi does not KO. Um, hmm. I'm going to go to Bronzon. Oh, very nice play. Very, very nice play. Uh, man, that was a very nice play. And uh, we're going to say goodbye to this uh, wall rain. Though it's like, it's pretty close to Icicle Spear range, but this Icicle Spear will not KO. Bronzon has like some decent uh, stats to it and going to be able to land the side shock here. That was a weird recording thing. And going to be able to take it out. Very nice. Very, very, very well done. They definitely would have won that match if not for, for the catch. So keeping the streak alive. We're going to have Obstagoon into Wall Rain. And we'll see how they want to play. Obviously, favorable matchup for. Yeah, and this is, uh, again, a good matchup. Definitely let this go. Uh, I probably th maybe do one more confusion and throw. I think that's the appropriate amount. Uh, they're probably one off the next discharge. Uh, it doesn't KO, uh, but they're they're they should be able to outpace because they're only two confusions away, and they should be five so five so Oh, okay, nope, they do not outpace here. Good shield, and then look to farm down. You're gonna be able to farm down. We'll see what they come in with. Oh, does end up throwing the Psy Shock into the Drapion. They end up no shielding. Very nice play by the opponent. 
And this should be an Aqua Tail here, unless they, for some reason, threw the crunch. Oh, man, that was a very nice play. And going to throw the... Well, this this is this game is certainly uh, over. All right, uh, they do end up shielding, uh, but this is this is uh, they need to throw two moves here or, or or throw the EQ. The EQ would almost certainly KO at this health range. The ice cold spear wouldn't, but they they do end up throwing the EQ, which is a nice play. And then honestly, you just spark down here, right? Because uh, okay, no, or they'll throw the move. Uh, just because, like, uh, it would be able to survive an EQ from Wall Rain. And just going to switch here. And this is uh, absolutely game over here. The opponent decides to quit the match. And uh, we are going to go into the final round. We're going to see if they can complete the 3 0 sweep um, or the 20, 21 and 0. Uh, so I'll see everyone in the next round. All right. We are in the final round of this seven round tournament. The opponent has Quag. Uh, Frostlass, uh, Crustle, Empoleon, Galvantula, and um, Zwilus. So Zwilus is a very interesting pick here. Let's go ahead and get started. I do I do like the uh, Mawal. I think it's uh, pretty strong here. They've picked Cradilli as well, which I think is like pretty decent. Obviously, you want to scare away the Empoleon or get lined up with it. They go. They do get Galvantula here, which is uh, a little problematic. Uh, this doesn't KO. And do, they do get the extra bullet scene in as well. And they do resist the... I'm going to bait. Okay, I'm not sure. Let, let's see if they decide to shield. They do end up deciding to shield. And they are w one turn behind, so... We're going to do one then throw. Good timing. We'll see if they shield. They do decide to shield. This will be a very difficult farm down. They're probably going to try to snipe with Mawal, is what I'm predicting. Okay, nope, nope. Ends up, uh, they're going to get farmed down here, but this is uh, this is very good here. Going to go into Obstagoon. CMP tie. Hydrocan would do a lot. Could end up shielding it. Okay, gonna throw the Night Slash here. Uh, man, there, <laughs> this Mawa has not very many places to go. I think you try to sack it. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, man, beautiful sack here. But they, they might try to undercharge this. Oh, they actually end up throwing the Stone Edge. Um, but they're gonna have to throw. And uh, it makes sense how they're approaching it. They, they definitely want to throw the power punch. They would double resist the iron head. It's going to do a decent amount of damage. Uh, and these fire fangs are going to add up. And there's no way the opponent's going to be able to. They don't. They're like two off. So the one counter is enough to take it out. Very nice. We are 19 and 0. Are we going to see 21 and 0? This is kind of like to me like watching. Uh, I used to be a big baseball fan. Like watching. Uh, a pitcher go for a perfect game we're gonna see if they can they can do it here okay so where do you want to see it uh they are desynced uh but uh actually not sure if they're desynced in their favor or the opponent's favor you let this go but they're gonna end up shielding it because i do think they'll straight stone edge uh, cause, uh, they need two moves anyways, and there's no way you can fast move down. Um, oh, the, they end up getting a third shield. Um, well, that is very unfortunate. That is very unfortunate cause, uh, that is really unfortunate. Cause now they're going to shield. <laughs> okay. They're going to shield for real this time. Um, did it really matter here? Well, we're gonna find out. Gonna switch to to lantern. Try to catch the the move. I'm thinking this is gonna be a rock slide. It is gonna be a rock slide. Gonna throw the thunderbolt. We'll see if they shield. Uh, I'm guessing they have Empoleon in the back, right? Which is why they came in. 
Uh, this is going to be an X scissor. And come in Mawal here. And I'm assuming that they're going to instant swap, right? It is Empoleon. Can look to throw the Night Slash. If they don't end up using the shield, I guess it doesn't matter. Well, they're going to have to end up using shield, right? Because this doesn't KO. Maybe if they boost here. Oh, okay. They don't end up using the shield. Oh, okay. That's that's why there's no rematch. That's why there was no rematch. Because they ended up using they didn't end up actually using the shield. And it actually ended up being worse for them, though. At that point, it might have played a little bit differently. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess it makes sense that there's no rematch. Um, they do come into Galv here. Definitely let this go. And then do one bullet seed in. Oh, going to go to their own Galv. Um... Okay, gonna shield this. This is interesting. I'm assuming the opponent won't shield though. Uh, maybe they'll get one volt switch in afterwards. No, they get more than one volt switch. I'm talking about here. Gonna let this go, and then look. Now these uh, they're definitely gonna look to farm down with. Uh, okay, they'll definitely farm down with Quagsire. And okay, I like this play. I really like this play. Gonna make the move. Uh, I think you gotta let this go, right? Because they're debuffed. They do throw the EQ, does a pretty good amount of damage. Is it Empoleon in the back? Should be able to make it to two Night Slashes uh, before they can make it to. Oh, it is Empoleon in the back. Gonna try to throw a good timing there. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be able to get one more counter in, which is really huge. And the question is here. Okay, gonna go for the discharge. Will the opponent think that they're baiting? I think that's like their only. Okay, no, they. Oh, beautiful, beautiful combo play here, and uh, we are. That is uh, very fitting. Of a 21 and oh, tremendous uh, tournament run. Some fantastic gameplay there. Um, obviously, really great team as well. Tremendous trainer. Congratulations on the 21 and 0 in a seven round tournament. I can't even fathom uh, performing that well. So, very well done. Uh, I will, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.